know, um, I was born and raised in, in Edmonton, a large city. And um, I thought, oh, it might be hard to adjust to a smaller community. And it's probably one of the best things for me that, that I've done. And I would think that families would find, again, that small community atmosphere, but yet such great potential for future growth would be very enticing. Uh, being, in, um, being in traffic jams, uh, is you don't have that here. And, and it's really cool. I mean, I live maybe 15 minutes out of town, and the thing I need to worry about probably the most is the deer. So, uh, you know, I don't need to worry about the, the lineup of, of traffic. Uh, just the other day I saw a bear. Uh, so, I mean, we do have a lot of the, um, I don't know, it's, 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 it's a culture, it's the rule, but yet there's, uh, there's the retail, there's the services, hospitals, and, and medical clinics, uh, schools. So, uh, yeah, I think, I think the lakes beat the cement. It's going to be a, just a great attraction because a lot of people now these days are into uh, to fitness and uh, and we have uh, hockey teams uh, from here that are doing quite well and uh, we have a Portage College team as well and we only had a small arena that was built in centennial year and now there's going to be two large arenas, a, a huge field house, library, they're talking about attaching two two schools to the to the multiplex. So it'll be a first in Alberta, and um, a huge workout center in there, and a big track around the outside with a view of the lake. It's going to be a fantastic center. We need an indoor. We do have the winter uh, months that uh, we need a place to go inside, and this recreational facility nails it. Uh, whether it's uh, hockey. Whether it's um, playing basketball, we have a, a running court, curling. Uh, it, it is the state-of-the-art uh, facility in a community of 9,300 people. Uh, will service us well into the future. Um, we look at this facility as something for the next 50 years. Welcoming uh, people to our community, whether they are looking to retire here uh, or whether they are looking to start a business, People choose places to live because all schools, hospitals, recreation, uh, the quality of life has become a greater factor. I think we could afford them all of that. The fact that Fort McMurray is, is so crowded and there's no place to go, no place to go for a country drive, Conklin has no facilities whatsoever, and Lacabish is just a few hours from the main workforce that's going to be uh, working at the Sag D plants, uh, this is a natural place for families to come because we have the lakes, we have the parks, now we have the new multiplex they're building and it's just a great place to live.